Suriname's demographics sound like a Geography Now April Fool's joke episode. Though located in South America, a region that is predominantly Spanish and Portuguese speaking, and practices Catholicism, Suriname's official language is Dutch. Their largest single ethnic group is East Indian, and 14% of the country practice Islam, the largest percentage of any country in the Americas. So how did this happen? Well, just like most of the Americas demographics, they are the result of colonization. But Suriname's story is a little bit different. In the early 17th century, traders and explorers from a handful of powerful European nations of the time visited and set up small trading posts in the area. In 1630, the English began taking the colonization of Suriname seriously. But on February 26, 1667, as part of the Second Anglo-Dutch War, the Dutch took the English colony of Suriname, and the Treaty of Breda a few months later solidified the claim. Suriname remained fully under Dutch control until becoming almost fully autonomous in 1954. Their independence was later gained through negotiation in 1975. Now let's take a look at how this history resulted in some of Suriname's largest ethnic groups. Out of a total population of around 600,000 people, 38% are Afro-Surinamese. As you probably already guessed, this is the result of slavery. The British began importing slaves from Africa to work their sugar, cotton, and indigo plantations. The Dutch continued the practice until the abolition of the slave trade in 1814. Slavery was abolished in 1863, although slaves were only released after a 10-year transitionary period in 1873. These descendants can be split into two different groups, Maroons and Creoles. The Maroons make up 22% of the population. These are descendants of enslaved Africans who managed to escape and set up their own communities in the Amazon jungle. Creoles make up 16% of the population. These are those that have descended from slaves that did not escape. They often have mixed ancestry with other groups such as Europeans and the indigenous populations. The next largest group is the indo surinamese at 27%. Starting in 1873, when slavery was completely abolished in Suriname, Indians began migrating to Suriname from what was then British India as indentured laborers. Most of these immigrants came from modern day India, but some came from other parts of South Asia, such as Afghanistan and Nepal. As part of a treaty between the Netherlands and the United Kingdom, the UK helped transport these immigrants to the colony of Suriname. Indo-Surinamese populations reached as high as 38% of the population in 1972. The Javanese Surinamese is the next largest group, making up 14%. In 1890, the colonial government began recruiting Javanese indentured workers from another Netherlands colony, Indonesia. They would first set sail for Amsterdam, then to Suriname. Immigration of the Javanese continued until the outbreak of World War II. Amerindians only make up 4% of the population. And Chinese make up 2% of the population. In 1858, 500 Chinese laborers were recruited by the Dutch consul in Macau. But they arrived before there was demand for the laborers, as slavery was still legal. When they arrived in Suriname in April of that year, no one would hire them. Because of this, the Chinese were essentially forced into slavery. In the 1850s and 1860s, about 2,500 more Chinese people arrived in Suriname working as indentured servants. Other Chinese came to Suriname as free laborers and traders, especially in the 1950s, 60s, and 1990s. Immigration to Suriname from China continues to this day. Only 1% of the country are of European descent, made up of mostly Dutch descendants that immigrated during the colonial period. Multiracial and other small groups make up the remainder which accounts for about 14% of the population. The groups brought over as indentured servants were predominantly male, so many married and had children with partners outside of their ethnicity. The mixing of races and ethnicities has continued since. Nearly 50% of the country practiced Christianity, at 26% Protestant and 22% Catholic, making it the most common religion. This is due to colonization by the British and the Dutch. Due to immigration from India, 22% of the country practice Hinduism. The only country with a higher percent is Guyana, which has a similar story of indentured servitude as Suriname. Due to immigration from Indonesia to Suriname, 14% of the country practice Islam, the highest percentage of any country in the Americas. A few other religions practiced in Suriname are Javanism, Judaism, and Wenti, an Afro-Surinamese traditional religion that combines beliefs from Christianity and those of tribes in West Africa. As stated at the beginning of the video, Dutch is the most commonly used language due to Dutch colonization. 
it's used for government and education. But another language formed due to British colonization, Sranan Tongo, an English-based Creole language that also takes influence from Dutch, Spanish, Portuguese, and West African languages. This is the most commonly used lingua franca in the country. Suriname's national anthem is in both Dutch and Srenan Tongo. The first half is in Dutch and the second in Srenan Tongo. Suriname is pretty unique, but it's also surrounded by countries and regions with their own unique demographics. But I'll cover that in future videos. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more geography videos. Thank you for watching.